you sow that you will reap. So that's the story for athletics in Nigeria. I'll continue to monitor everything that is going on at the World Championships in London. Just also a quick update. Mo Farah has qualified for uh, the 5,000 meters uh, men, men's event. Uh, Mo Farah, in that very keenly contested one, um, finished second. Uh, that one was won by Yomiv Kejelcha and then Idris finished uh, in third. So all three have qualified for the final. That's talking about hits one in the men's 5,000 meters right there at the World Championships in London. Let's bring the conversation back home now. Talk about the International Table Tennis Federation um, competition tagged the Nigeria Open. Fourth edition taking place right here in Lagos. Um, good news for Team Nigeria. Uh, Monday, Morotun, uh, big guy, uh, one of the old guns of table tennis in Nigeria, recording day one victory. Uh, there's also victory for Kazim Nosiru, victory for Sheon Ajetumobi. Uh, only for me, each time this competition comes, I don't care if someone says, oh, Nigeria don't get to win, don't get to win. It's a vital opportunity for us to assess the development of table tennis in the country. I totally agree with you, Austin. You, you just mentioned a South African. They didn't give up on him. Mm -hmm. They had the structure the support system, they knew that this guy has got talent, but a matter of time, he is going to rule the world. So with this kind of tournament, what we need is to continue to support the tennis players, you know, ensure that their funds, if, if they need to go for international events, you know, they don't need to start complaining. Yeah. Yep. They don't need to start running from pillar to pole. How, where you discover talent for this kind of um, event, support them. Mm -hmm. You know, let there be continuity. That's right. Give them the necessary backup. Yeah. Get quality coaches mm. if it's necessary, mm. so that they can start dreaming. That's right. Competing against against the best. With with um, in in due course, maybe in, in a matter of three or four mm. years, mm. they should be at the peak of their career. That's right. Um, Gideon Motayo, for instance, yeah. the guy we're watching now, uh, and Kazim Makonjola, a former junior champions. If there was a good system in place to give these guys, to keep them busy, yeah. to sponsor them, by now they should be almost at the same level out on a quadri. Yeah, that was why it really got on. Yeah, I was really, really upset when the juniors couldn't make it to their tournament the last time mm. as a result of funds. Because you have to keep the line of production going. Yeah. Because people, for, for someone to be 28, it must have been 15. You know, and you have to groom them, give them mm. the necessary opportunity to thrive. And I'm particularly very, very pleased with this tournament. You know, there are six... Six of the top 100 players are in this tournament. I mean, it's, since you cannot take them out, they are here now. They are getting the requisite you know, exposure, local exposure, that will help, help them to thrive. I mean, this is, this is really a fantastic opportunity for them to grow. Sounds good. Sounds good. So that's it. Uh, more updates coming from uh, the Nigeria Open. Nigeria women's player Zainab, um, Zainab Summer, a lost uh, by four games to nothing to uh, Ghana's Beatrice Yassi. Yes, that's what it is right there. That's the experience she needs. Now she has lost. Uh, she needs to play more. Play again, play again. And then someday when she meets the Ghana, she will get to win. We'll continue to monitor everything going down at the ITTF um, Nigeria Open. More qualification games will be played tomorrow. Uh, the competition just started today. We'll monitor it.